Oh. Oh my god. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with H. Cooking with H. In today's episode, Baby H and I are going to be attempting to make a... <laughs> That's cute. A no-bake dessert using jello chocolate pudding. We found a recipe online, so we're going to have a go at doing that, but we are actually putting our own little spin on it because, unfortunately, we cannot get all the ingredients specified, or we've got slight variations. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to have a go, aren't we? Is that right? Oh, oh, is it funny? Do you want to say hello? Hello. This recipe is going to be loosely based on Oreos. Now you'll see here that I've got generic Oreos and I'm not ashamed of that. These are Asda Oreo style cookies. Asda is owned by Walmart. So I'm going to put them in these cute little kind of like wine tumblers because I'm hoping that if this turns out okay, then we're going to take it to Auntie Kerry's tomorrow, aren't we, for her birthday. Yeah, so it's going to be a little birthday dessert. And what I do think I'm going to do is because they've got this little bit at the bottom. Nobody's going to actually be able to get to that with a spoon, so I thought if I put an Oreo in the bottom of here, then what I can do is it will stop any of the pudding going down into that little bit. So I'm going to try that. Not sure if it's going to work very well, because I'm not sure if these generic Oreos will break very easily. No, they don't break as easy as a normal Oreo. But let's see what we can do. We pop that in there, shall we, Alana? Oh, should have done this beforehand, shouldn't I? Oh, that one looked, that one worked well. See, fills the hole. Fills the hole nicely. Not sure how this is going to go. Well, it would fill the hole nicely if Baby H didn't decide to attack it afterwards. Might have to put you in your high chair next to me, I think because you might be trouble. Are you going to be trouble? Are you going to be trouble for Mama? Yep, see? Hitting everything over. And this is all right until we get to the uh, liquidy style products. Yeah, she's going to want to eat everything. Right, Baby H is going to have to go in her um, high chair, but hopefully she can sit right about here so you can still see her. Right, so this bit's going to be incredibly boring whilst I just try to... Um, Pop Oreos in little glasses. It's got a lot of cream in it and also a bit of Cool Whip, which we don't have Cool Whip, so I'm going to do my best to make a variation of Cool Whip. Anyway, I'm going to get noisy now because I need to make a bit of a base as well. So I'm just going to chuck the rest of these Oreos in here. I've got a little bit of melted butter in here, which uh, it's a two tablespoons. Oh, bless you. Don't worry, she's not sneezing on the food. So I'm going to pop some of that in here as well. And see how that goes. Oh, yes. Oh, we've got some nice crushed Oreos and butter there. I'm going to pop a little bit of this into each of my little glasses to make a bit more of a base. So just like this, and then I'll press it down in a minute. I c oh no, I'm gonna make a mess as well. Here's where I've always been ribbing Mr. H for his mess in the kitchen. But I think we're about to see that I'm gonna be making just as much mess and I can't even blame it on anyone. I know it's on my biscuit base already, but I've just dropped a bit of Oreo on Baby H. I'm sure she will not mind. So I'll just do this quickly to the others. And then I've got to mix the Jello Choco Pudding. It says to mix that with some double cream. Now, I think you call it heavy cream over there. 
And just while I'm doing this, I'm gonna do a bit of peddling. Uh, if you are enjoying this video and me trying to make something in a wine glass, a plastic wine glass, please like the video. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. And also a shout out to all our lovely patrons. The patrons, you'll be listed here. Now just to say, if you do want to come across and join us over on Patreon, then the link is down in the description. You can come along and support the channel further, get exclusive discounts behind the scenes. Um, what else do we have? We have Zooms with um, all of our members, which is brilliant and great fun. And then my final thing to say before I get on to the next bit is, if you head across to our website, which is www.mrhandfriends.com, We've got a dedicated page now for recipes. So what you can do is you can send in a recipe or a suggestion or something for me to try to cook in the kitchen with my little helpers. And uh, we will do obviously a taste test on it because that's the whole thing that you want to see. You want to see British family reacting to some of your American cuisine. Also what you can do is you can send us some photos of dishes that you've made and they'll feature on our gallery. Okay, so I better get on and do the next bit. The next bit says that I need to mix my jello pudding and it says to ignore the instructions on the box because if I follow the instructions on the box it will not make a thick enough consistency of this jello pudding and it won't go quite to plan. So we're going to take that advice. So I'm putting my choco mix in here. Just popping that in. I'm going to add in my double cream which you guys call heavy cream. Oh, all these blimmin' slight differences between what we call things, what you call things. It's just confusing when it comes to cooking, but I'm doing my best. Now it's two cups, which again, ideal in millilitres, but I do have some measuring um, devices, which will help me here. So two cups of heavy cream. Now, two cups of heavy cream is 480 ml. This is 300 ml, so I'm just going to whack all of that in. Oh, that looks nice. Definitely need to stop ribbing Mr. H for a mess in a kitchen, in a milk kitchen, because I have just poured cream on the floor. Well, I haven't. I splashed it on the floor. Oh, look at that. That looks nice already. Yeah, doesn't it, Alana? Now, Mummy's going to whip this up. Where's my whisk? Thickening up nicely now. Oh, look at that. Look at that, it's going all, oh, and uh, oh, I'm excited. I love chocolate. Look at that, it's lush and thick. Ooh! Right, I'm going to do a bit more, a bit more whisking because hopefully it'll go a little bit thicker. Oh, that's superb. Now, what I was going to do with this recipe, I got a bit of my finger and I want to lick it. But because I'm cooking, and I might be cooking for other people, I probably won't lick it just yet. What I was going to do is I was going to mix this with a banana pudding that we also have. But I didn't know if it would be a bit too much. So what I thought I would do is I'd try and keep this to chocolate. See how far it goes. If it goes far enough, then I won't mix it. If I do need to, I will add the banana pudding and it'll be a chocolate, a banana chocolate pudding. <gasps> Look at that, Lana. Look at it. Right. Oh, exciting stuff. So I'm just literally popping it in there. You see that? Oh yeah, popping it in there. I will squash it down and see how far it goes. I don't want to make these like massive. I just want to do it as a little, I don't know, sophisticated dessert <laughs> using Oreos. Yep, Oreos are now sophisticated as is jello pudding. My mouth is watering. If you have been watching the channel regularly, you'll know that Mr. H and I went on a little bit of a diet because um, me personally, I was piling on the pounds and Mr. H supported me and joined me in a bit of a diet and I've not been able to have anything like this. So the fact that I can make this now and actually try it is really exciting. Uh, I've got a list of things I want to cook that I wasn't able to before 
I'm not gonna tell you everything that I'm gonna cook because I want it to be a bit of a surprise. But I have been getting lots of ideas from people that have been um, contacting us through the website of things to make. And we've got lots of food, as you would have seen from one of our posts, that I've got to get through and do something with. And also over on Discord. Yes, Discord is... Oh, bless you, baby. Bless you. Also, Discord is linked in the description. So if you do want to come over and chat to us on Discord, please feel free. We've got an excellent community on there, as we have over on YouTube, our YouTube community. But the guys on Discord are forever giving me ideas of things that I can try in the kitchen. So I'm just trying to squash this down now to make it look a bit more like a pudding and less like just chuck something in there. I think I'm going to need more, 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 I tell you. I've got to attempt to make this Cool Whip. Now, I did find a recipe for making Cool Whip, which I'll tell you what the recipe says, and I'm sure you'll all let me know in the comments below if that is not how you make Cool Whip. It did say that it is a recipe that that person has stuck to over the years, and they've not gone back rather than buying Cool Whip. Do you know what? I think for the amount of cream that's in this, is going to be high in calories so I'm not going to feel bad if these are small portions but this was just to showcase how versatile hopefully choco pudding is now somebody I'm just gonna hey <laughs> I'm not gonna give you my opinion on choco choco I can call it choco on chocolate jello pudding because I want to wait until the end, we'll do the taste test. Say hello to everybody, first of all. Say this is my baby. Do you give cuddles? Ah, oh, cuddles. Cuddles. Ah. Oh. What about kiss? Um, mwah. Cuddles. Ah, oh, Lana do cuddles. I'm going to see if Alana will go and sit on the floor or on her play mat whilst I finish this up. So I'll just do this as I cook so that you could be in the shot. Look! Oh, look at the camera! There we go. Got some things to play with. Oh, sorry, I'm not in shot. This will be good for the thigh muscles. A little bit naughty, but... What's that like? What do you reckon, Pop it? I will get a clean spoon. Oh, there's a bit of cream in there. Oh. So this says for the easy homemade whipped cream, homemade cool whip, three ingredients, like I said, thriftyfrugalmom.com. Should look like that. So I'm gonna try to make something that looks like that. Don't you hate it when there's something cooking wise and you've got to scroll through loads of stuff to get to the recipe. So apparently I need one cup of heavy whipping cream, which I've got, three to four tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Okie dokie. So one. Two. That's half a cup in each, so don't worry, I've not gone mad. So I've got my cream. Oh gosh, this is gonna be like, I'm so glad I'm not on a diet anymore because this would be terrible. Sugar, three to four tablespoons. Let's go for three because four may be excessive. And a teaspoon of vanilla, teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon. A teaspoon? Large vanilla. It's quite a lot of vanilla. Yeah, double check that. That is a lot of vanilla. Right, Mummy's gonna do some more whisking. You ready? Ready? Steady? Go! Come on! Call it. I'm pretty sure that 
cool whip is meant to be a lot thicker than this currently is. So I'm gonna have to keep mixing. Let's go! Ready, go! That consistency looks about right for me. Isn't there something that, like, I don't know if it's whipped cream. I don't think it is. Maybe it's meringue? You're supposed to like hold it over your head and if it doesn't fall, then it's the right consistency. But I'm not going to try that because I don't think that would work. Look at that, baby. Yeah. So what I might quickly do is I'm just going to clear up around these, trying to make the presentation look a little bit decent. Plus, if I get any on my fingers, then I'm entitled to eat it. That's the way it works, doesn't it, when you make food? I've made my Cool Whip. It looks good. And I'm just adding it to the top. And then I'm gonna smush it all down. I'm sure there's a technical word rather than smush, but we are going with smush. I seem to have a lot of Cool Whip. Here's me smushing. You have one of those. Look. Alana's got a carrot and parsnip puff. They look quite good if I don't mind saying so myself. I mean, I'm not gonna win any awards just yet. That looks nice, isn't it? I'm gonna add a bit more Cool Whip into that. Let's go with a bit more Cool Whip. I would say if you are lactose intolerant, this is probably not the recipe for you. But I think they look rather fetching. I think they look good. Baby H, what do you think, Pop it? She's too busy with her carrot and parsnip thing. I'm gonna quickly sprinkle some chocolate sprinkles on top. Wow, there's our little poppet. Say hello to the camera. Yeah, hello. And then over here is what I've been making. These are the little desserts. I don't think they look bad. Yeah, I've made eight, so Mr H and I can try one each on camera, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll give you some. And then we've got six more, so I can take that round to my sister-in-law's tomorrow for her birthday and see what they think of the little treat. Right, let's get on with the taste test, and there's going to be a bit of a time lapse here because I'm going to pop them in the fridge and we're going to have them later. So, the no-bake pudding which is the jello chocolate pudding that we've made has been in the fridge for a few hours and we're going to do the taste test now if i don't <sighs> mind saying so they do look quite good <laughs> ah they smell amazing so for a oh. quick recap it's oreo oh. oreo crumb base really jello chocolate pudding whip i'm not sure what you'd call it with an equivalent to Cool Whip, oh, topped with some chocolate sprinkles. Oh my God, it smells so good. So just for you guys, this is what it looks like. Oh my days, this is, this is the daddy. This right. is the daddy. Well, you say that, but you it? haven't tried it yet. No, I don't need to, but well, I do need to. Try and Ready? go all the way down. <gasps> So right. you get a bit of everything. Ready? Oh. Yeah. Just go for a little mouthful. <laughs> I've got a big mouth. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my God. That is nice. Bloody hell. So the uh, regular viewers will know the, uh, the diet's over. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. It is nice. It is so soft. It's so fluffy. 
It's so sweet. And then the base is good, isn't mm. it? How do you get it so fluffy? I fluffed it up. You fluffed it up? No, I whipped it with the mm. mixer. And oh, mm, mm. Don't click off and I've eaten all of this because... Alana tried some. Did she? Well, she only had the chocolate bit. Did she really? <laughs> oh, guys, you enjoying the uh, video? <laughs> Maybe not as much as we are. Drop a like. Mm. I, oh, what was that? Oh, it's crunchy. That was your Oreo. That's the Oreo. Well, half an Oreo. Look. Bloody hell. There's so, an Oreo at the bottom. I thought you crunched it uh, up and... I hoovered earlier. I've just put chocolate sprinkles on the floor. I, it doesn't matter, is it? Not when it's like this. We'll be eating that, will you? Yeah. Right, what would you say if I was to make oh, this again? Yeah. Would, no, <laughs> that wasn't the question. Oh. We ain't got any more chocolate jello mix. Are you not eating all that? Well, like, give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to make this again. Yes. What? No, not yes. Oh. It's not a question like that. If I was to make this again, what would you change? Would nothing. You have, no? Would I swear, I swear to God, nothing. Case? No, it's perfect. I'm, honestly, for me, that's a 10 out of 10. And I don't give out 10 out of 10s. That is amazing. So good. Oh my God, this is so good. Mmm. Oh, that is bloody lovely. Bloody hell. Mm. Mm. Guys, wow. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Mrs. H. If you want to see some more cooking with H, don't forget to like the video. Uh, subscribe to our channel as we delve into all things USA. Reacting to history, geography, military, Food, desserts, food, food, and more food. Uh, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. We bloody love you and your yeah. food. And all, that, and all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. See you on the next video.